Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're taking a look at your spirit guide's message on what is currently happening in your life. And to do this reading, these are the three piles for today. If you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, you'll find a timestamp to that down in the description box which will take you straight to the part where we shuffle your zodiac signs and find out in which pile they're going to fall under in today's reading. But as if you prefer to pick your piles using your intuition, then in that case, you can either pick your pile or piles using the, um, the card that is on the top of each deck, or you can pick them using your crystals. If you, preferred, if you prefer the first method, then as you can see, for pile number one, you have the moon card. For pile number two, you have the sun card. And for pile number three, you have the star card. If you prefer to pick using your crystals, let me introduce them to you. For pile number one, you have the beautiful rhodonite. For pile number two, you have the beautiful cherry quartz. And for pile number three, you have the Dalmatian, the beautiful Dalmatian Jasper. So take a look at which one of these three piles or three crystals you're the most drawn to and this or these will be the piles for you here today. As I always encourage you, in case you feel drawn to more than one pile, maybe even drawn to all of them, please feel free to check out as many or as little piles as you are drawn to. There's no What I'm trying to answer is there's no such thing as too little or too many piles to choose from. It's really up to how you feel towards the piles you are, uh, towards the piles. Are you drawn to one, uh, two, all? It's really all up to how you feel. It is you, your intuition is your magic, which will always guide you to the right readings. And Once you're ready, please head down to the description box, click on your timestamps, and I will see you in your readings. In a moment, I am about to assign different zodiac signs to each pile. So if this is something that you do not prefer, please pause the video, take as much time as you need. And once you're ready, as mentioned, I will see you in your readings. But if you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, then my dear soul family, this specific part of the introduction has been created specially for you. What I like to do is shuffle your zodiac signs really well in my bag. And then once I feel like it's properly shuffled, I will be drawing out four zodiac signs for each of the piles. Okay, so let's get straight into it and find out which zodiac signs are going to end up in pile number one. So for pile number one, the signs are one, two, three, and four. Pisces, Taurus, Aries, and Aquarius. For pile number two, the signs are one, two, three, and four. Leo, Capricorn, Libra, and Cancer. As for pile number three, the signs are 
Scorpio, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Gemini. So, my dear soul family, these are the zodiac signs and their association to each of the piles in today's reading. Please feel free to pick your piles using your sun, moon, and rising. I highly recommend that you check the three. But if you prefer to pick your piles using another placement in your chart, and then, of course, please feel free to do that as well. Once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your timestamps and I will see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful Rhodonite. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Pisces, Taurus, Aries, and Aquarius. Welcome to your reading, guys. Um, also, you could have picked your pile using the moon card from this deck. Right. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so today we're taking a look at your spirit guides messages on what is currently happening in your life. All right. Let's pull out the last Oracle card for this reading and create space. If these are not your zodiac signs, guys, remember it's a general reading. Some specific details in a reading might resonate with you and at other times it, it, it won't. And it's just meant for someone else. And that's the nature of a general reading. So yeah, don't worry about it. Right. So let's check your cards. I feel like this is your significator card. Also, although I didn't shuffle yet, it, this card's been sliding out. So I'm going to take it. You have Radiant. May you shine brightly. Such a sweet card. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to keep it there for you. My dear pile number one. And uh, let's take this card. You have acknowledgement and the radiance again. Isn't this awesome? Acknowledgement and may you shine bright. Ooh, this is looking really cool. We can place your beautiful crystal right there. And check out the rest of your cards. You have the wisdom aspect of Gemini with curiosity. So your card says, what to do with a golden key? Instead of getting stuck in one room, it's important to try unlock unlocking doors. The golden key is your curiosity. Use the power of curiosity to unlock subjects of interest. Ask questions. Seek out inspiration and be open-minded. Interesting. Instead of getting stuck in one room, it's important to try unlocking doors. So cool. Right, you have win the heart with keywords such as broken hearts, lovers, spat, possible love, Love letter, romance, opposites, attract, marriage proposal, airport. Don't know why that's there, but young lovers, incompatible, a friend zone, office, romance. So everything that deals with the heart. It says win the heart. Okay. And you have the emotional aspect of Leo. It says security or insecurity. Standing in the spotlight? No. Wow. This is like a huge synchronicity right there. I really wonder what your spirit guide's message is going to be, my dear pile number one. So it says, if you are able to step forward into the spotlight with confidence and poise, relish this feeling of security. However, if you are experiencing insecurity, Trust that real self-expression will help you, will help to shift that feeling. 
Self-expression will help to shift that feeling. All right. I mean, I really feel that your cards are divinely guided, like all cards are. But more than ever, with that synchronicity, all the yellows, all the spotlight, all the radiance, it just feels like you're really being communicated to directly from your guides. You've got the Queen of Cups, which popped up in your reading. Let's see what this, what this whole radiance spotlight acknowledgement is all about for you. Am I shuffling it the right way up? Oh my God. <laughs> Let's turn it around and shuffle again. What is your spirit guide's message? On what is currently happening in your life. All right, all right. Here we go. You've got a lot of cards, but let's explore them together. So you've got the Four of Swords, which here talks about tranquility. Uh, tranquility, because here it talks about how if you're feeling insecure about being in the spotlight, which I'm not sure why, yet but it seems you're gonna be in the spotlight soon and with win the heart it looks like you're gonna be winning the hearts of the people listening to you watching you observing you maybe you're gonna see with the key maybe you're gonna be a keynote speaker um but of course very specific i do see your guides talking about you being in the spotlight and as i'm saying this you won't believe it right there is a moth trying to <laughs> like standing trying to soak up the light like trying to move towards the light unbelievable synchronicity uh, i hope i get enough time to take a picture and show it to you on instagram hold on sorry guys i tried to take the picture it took a lot of time trying to capture it without getting private information that was in the way and uh, i i couldn't do it i lost it at the end okay so you've got the queen of pentacles you have the page of wands the tower card yeah you see all the triggers but you can see the figure in the tower card being very calm. There is a tsunami, there is like thunder, fire, <laughs> and that figure is sitting there calm. Okay. You have the four of wands, the empress, Queen of Cups and the Empress. Wow, you're really going to be loved here. You have the Seven of Cups. See, we're talking about what is currently happening in your life. This is not about something that is going to happen. We're talking about what is currently happening in your life. So I'm mistaken here. You, okay, okay. I'll get to it in a moment. Look at that, at the fire. I think... Right, you have the Hermit, you have the Ace of Pentacles, and you have the Fool card, the Ace of Pentacles and the Four. Fool, wow. Certainly a new beginning. We can fit one more card here. Wow, and you've got the Nine of Cups. In fact, I think if I push these a little bit up, I will definitely have space at the bottom to place the remaining two cards, three. So you have the six of cups, the two of wands, and an extra card in this deck, which is the unseen card. Right? And then push these up a little. For six of cups, two of wands, and the unseen. So 
I would say in that case that, okay, I understand what's going on here. In that case, it does look like you are going through a situation in your life where you're meant to be seen, but perhaps you are afraid to be seen. This could be in your work. Maybe you're going to be a keynote speaker. Maybe as mentioned from the very beginning, you know about something. Yeah, the only difference between what I was saying and the actual intention of the reading is that you know about this. You already know about this. So some of you may be keynote speakers. Some of you may be invited by your company to like make a presentation. Maybe you're going to be a speaker. Maybe you are going to be um, like a, tra a, tra a trainer. Maybe, you're, maybe this is about being seen. Maybe you will have a YouTube page or an Instagram page or any social media page. In all cases, whatever is going on in your life, I do see that your guides are saying you are met, meant to step out. You are meant to be in the spotlight. Perhaps you are afraid. And with the Four of Swords in that case, not only is it saying be calm about it, which we'll talk about in a moment, but it is saying you could be in your comfort zone. And you're afraid to put yourself out there in whatever this is. And your guides are saying shine bright. May you shine bright. Your guides are describing you as radiant. And you could be afraid of doing something that you will find out with the Leo that you're so good at. So what your guides want to show you with what is currently going on in your life is that this, whatever it is you're intimidated by is just sound. You know, the tsunami going, the thunder is going, the fire is going, and this figure is untouched. Your guides are showing you that nothing can harm you. These are like, remind yourself, these are all, these are all sounds. It's not, it's, they, it can't harm me. These are all sounds. It can't harm me. Because the fact of the matter is, what your guides are showing you, is that you are going to win the hearts of people. You can see it with the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. Should you decide this new beginning of taking yourself out of your aloneness and comfort zone, and move towards the things that could be scary. The Seven of Cups shows that it, um, it's, a, it's a card of building castles in the skies, like illusion, not, mm, mm, not illusions, but like imagination is the right word. So here in specific shows me illusion. It's like maybe your mind has built up so many things that it thinks it's scary. If you come near it, you will get burned. But the fact of the matter is, if you do come near it, you're only touching your place where you're meant to be. You're only moving closer to where you're supposed to be. Because that is the very place where you're meant to shine. And so your guides are saying, the way they want to show you how to get into this energy, begin that page, that exciting page with the Page of Wands, is to be calm with the four of swords. Whatever happens, you know, like if a word triggers you, if an action triggers you, if a situation tra triggers you, staying calm will never make it affect you. It will prevent that from affecting you. Within this spotlight, lies an opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. And it will be the very beginning of you getting in touch with the world of your dreams. The beginning of getting in touch with the world of your dreams with the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups shows that you are going to be very fulfilled. Also, it's a step up with the Four of Wands towards your growth and transcendence. Four of Wands is like a level up. Seeing the butterfly, I feel like this is a step up towards you transforming into who you're meant to be. Because seeing uh, the, uh, the tower card and seeing how you're meant to shine bright shows me that 
you are growing into yourself with the butterfly wings here. So, with the Six of Cups, this is saying that your inner child is naturally good at this. Perhaps your older self is not uh, stepping into the spotlight that you're meant to be in due to whatever happened in life. So how you feel today and who your inner child is, is different. It's not who you are. And so don't label yourself with it. You can see the rainbow here connecting the inner child to your older self. And the rainbow is right there. Meaning, in my opinion, that the connection between that pure energy that you have, raw energy that you have, and how you can get in touch with it today from your inner child, it's, is to remain calm. Remaining calm will allow you to foresee what you cannot see in the moment. If you're feeling, if you're in your feels. Meaning that when you're in the feels, you feel like, but I don't know how to usually deal with that type of spotlight or when I'm in that situation. Remaining calm will allow you to see how to deal with the unknown how to deal with a situation that you haven't been to before. Because although we see a lot of light here, the unseen is like darkness, right? You, you want to see in the dark. And to be able to see in the dark, meaning in the situation that you're not really familiar with anymore, or not ever, you will be able to see through it, to see through it, only when you are calm and it's signified here in your tower card that is the type of trans transformation that you're meant to i was going to say get yourself into and then i heard again in my mind get yourself back into so i'm i, I keep getting uh, i keep mixing up the idea that you're already that, of course, from the idea where we explored that your inner child already has it, it could mean that you were always like that in your past lives. Maybe you were like a, a very famous person in your past life. Maybe you were always in the spotlight. Maybe you were a king or a queen. Uh, in all cases, your inner child is very familiar with that energy. It's perhaps triggers, I would say, not just ideas. It's just triggers, not ideas, or it could be both, that are standing in your way. And so the only way to heal it is to remind yourself to remain calm and not to respond to these triggers. In that way, you will find that you're able to step into it easily. In fact, you will be able to step into it with the two, like your second nature. And once you do step into it, there's no turning backs because you're winning the hearts of people. You're finding your confidence. You've stepped into your radiance, my dear pile number one. And you can see it with the Queen of Cups and the Empress. You will find out who you are. You will find out who you are. And you will be standing in your power gracefully with the Queen of Cups. Radiating love, radiating elegance with the Queen of Cups and the Empress. This is elegance. This is, um, this is the energy that exudes uh, attraction, affects people with admiration, which we're seeing here. Once you find your spotlight, there's no going back. And with the Queen of Pentacles here, this is two things. This is take it step by step, because slowly, if you take things slowly, you'll be able to enjoy the process. So like 
bring down your um, energy by moving slower, by moving through the situation slower, by also this is the mother bear known to pamper herself really well, the grizzly mother bear. So and this is talking about like the grizzly mother bear knows how to pamper herself, how to take care of herself. If she wants a nap, she'll get a nap. So I feel like take care of yourself. Um, it could be talking about personal care as well. Uh, oh my God, wait, there was a reading a, like a few days ago. There was a reading a few days ago. Guys, this is crazy. If you were part of this pile, the, it was um, in messages meant to reach you right now. One of the piles was talking about spotlight. It, we had the card spotlight. Do you remember? And it was about also personal care. Take care of yourself because you're going to be in the spotlight. Isn't it crazy how your readings are so synchronistic? What? I didn't even know I had the, uh, a lot of spotlight cards. Wow. So this definitely confirms it. If you've come from this pile and this is the second time you're watching this, this is crazy. <laughs> so yeah, personal care, like uh, do the necessary things, personal care to make you feel comfortable in that spotlight. It's uh, necessary. Take care of yourself. Do things slowly. And you will see that what you were afraid of will turn out to be a very exciting experience all the best of luck with that my dear pal number one i truly hope you do great <laughs> with whatever this situation is take it slow and you will see that it was always meant to be you uh, in that situation you're meant to be that and when all said is and and when all is said and done you'll feel very fulfilled most importantly because you found out who you are and the most importantly with that is that you've connected to a strong element of your inner child. That event or that situation will connect you to a power that your inner child has <clears throat> that is passing on to you or that you were capable of being in touch with. And you can see here during that event or during that situation, there's great acknowledgement, you're shining bright, and as I keep saying, you're winning the hearts. So don't be afraid, my dear pile number one, whatever the situation is, you are going to shine bright and do great. <laughs> I'm sending you a hug of encouragement. You got this, my dear pile number one. <laughs> Step out of your comfort zone, but do it calmly, especially with within the inside. Take it slow on yourself. And my dear pile number one, that was your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number one, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at your spirit guide's message on what is currently happening in your life. Your crystal is the beautiful um, cherry quartz. Some of you have picked this pile using the sun card at the top of this deck that we will be using for your reading today. And if you picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Leo, Capricorn, Libra, and Cancer. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about it. Remember, it's a general reading. Some specific details may resonate with you and sometimes it may just be for someone else. Okay, so let's put your tarot cards to the side. I feel like this is going to be your significator card. You have conserve. May you find the balance. Okay, beautiful colors. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's keep that there. And you have, oh my God, the yellows and the blues. This is the solar plexus and the throat chakra. What are the odds? 
So it says re-energize. Mm -hmm. Re-energize. You have the emotional, um, the emotional part of Pisces, side of Pisces, and it says peace or melancholy. Uh, mel melancholy. I don't know how it's pronounced. Melancholy. I know what it means, but I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Melancholy, melancholy. I think it's melancholy. Right. So a leaf drifts on water. Another leaf. Oh my God, a blue leaf again. Do you see? Oh, guys, like what? <laughs> the synchronicity here. The blue leaves. Petals, leaves. Crazy. I wonder what this is going to mean. We'll find out in a moment. Here it says, a, a leaf drifts on water. A feeling of peacefulness can make it seem as if you're floating without a care in the world. Melancho melancholy can feel like being submerged in overwhelming currents. Remember that, like a leaf on the surface of a pond, emotions are always moving. I think this is to highlight the message in this card. Remember that, like a leaf on the surface of a, a pond, emotions are always moving. Very cool reading, my dear pile number uh, two. Let's move and see what your message is. So you have holiday. So the keywords are travel agent, exotic location, globe trotters, railway station, beach, tourist resort, airport, sightseeing, historic site, tan, photo album, boat, postcard, local guide, sun, hotel, lobby, hotel lobby. Ooh, so cool. I <laughs> love this holiday card. Right. So let's shuffle your cards and ask, what is your... Looks like this one is important. What is your spirit guide's message on what's currently happening in your life? What is your spirit guide's message on what is currently happening in your life? That's the last one. Actually, this is the last one. Okay. So let's check out your cards. You have the Muse of Inspiration. This is the King of Wands. This is talking about power, strength. Let's keep it right there. Okay. You have... Huh, you've got the Sun card. The card that was up top. It's meant to be there. Let's keep your beautiful crystal there. Okay, you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. This is an awesome Nine of Swords. Look at how they're resting. Okay, you have the Hanged Man. The Ace of Wands. The death card, the three of wands, the moon card, in that case these are your emotions, you have the seven of pentacles, look it's exactly right, <laughs> let's do it the way it was, oh, it was. So you've got the Ace of Pentacles, another Ace. Oh, right under the Ace of Wands. This is a strong beginning here. Hmm. You have the Seven of Wands. Love the power in this card. And finally, you have the Emperor. So what's going on here? I feel like you could be going through something... I don't want to say difficult. It may not be difficult at all. Let me not assume what I'm not seeing. But I'm seeing that you're going through something that is evoking a lot of emotions at the moment. And it's perhaps bringing a lot of stress to you, taking you out of balance, feeling like you're not in control of the situation. 
uh, you might even feel like you're being sacrificed. Your emotions are all over the, the place with the moon card and the nine of swords. And you're feeling that with one wrong move with the dominoes, everything may fall down. So there's an even an, an element of threat to how you feel. And so your guides here are saying the most important thing about the whole situation that's going on in your life at the moment is to keep your emotions afloat, to give your emotions a vacation, a holiday, meaning this does not mean do not worry about what's going on at the moment, but it, your guides are saying with the Knight of Pentacles, take it slow, take it slow and give yourself a huge break with the holiday uh, to re-energize your energy. If you can even take yourself out of the situation a little bit, uh, take some time off if you can to re-energize and to bring your emotions down, then please do so. If that's not possible, then in that case, your guides are saying, uh, sit down even for five or 10 minutes, bring your emotions down, take a breather, <sighs> breathe, you know, take a long breath and remind yourself that you are always in control of a situation and it is not in control of you so long as you are keeping the reins of your emotions. And you can see it here with the nine of swords. This is the, the card of stress and anxiety, but look at this figure being calm. There's even a figure sleeping there. It, and you can feel, you can see that it's got a rain on everything through the mind, because this is the nine of swords. So don't let, take, let your mind take you to places. Uh, it doesn't mean don't think about the situation, but don't follow it with every emotion that's there. Uh, it's trying to protect you. It could be using, what is it called? The It's called primitive something. Uh, pr primitive uh, reactions. And so don't follow it. If fi fight or flight emotions. Don't follow it. Things are not going to go down. They're going to be stable with the emperor. And this whole situation is going to be transforming. But as you can see with the, with the closed eyes, calmly. It's going to be transformed calmly. Remember with the seven of pentacles that it's a path that you're going through. Take it one step at a time. Focus on the next step. Do you see where this figure is looking? Right under her foot. So focus on that next step and forget about everything else for now. Because keeping your emotions calm will put you with the King of Wands in a super powerful position. I mean, even the Sun card is meditating. <laughs> so there's a strong message here from your guides to remain calm. And is the situation going to go down the way you're afraid? It is not with the Emperor. In fact, I see you winning over it with power. Do you see the Emperor card going, I got this. And you can see it with the Seven of Wands. Maybe you are, no, no, it's not maybe, my apologies. I wanted to, to say, maybe it is rough, but you are stronger. That's why I said maybe. So here you can see that maybe the situation is so tight, so difficult, but you can, you're seen here as being calm and pushing it aside, all of it with power calmly. And so you've got the solar plexus, you've got yellows all over your reading, showing that you do have the power to push this away. The only thing that's in the way uh, are the emotions. Um, are the blues in this case signifying the throat chakra or are they signifying your emotions? I think they're signifying your emotions, but if the throat chakra resonates with you, then in that case, this is saying, speak up. Say what you want with melancholy or peace. Say what you want peacefully. Speak with strength and confidence, but peacefully. Hmm. I feel this is so, actually, because if... If you don't stay calm, as your guides are showing, 
you might be seeing things the other way around. You know, when we're in fight or flight or when we're too emotional, we tend to see everything the other way around. We, we sometimes see things against us. We, we could see that everything is happening um, to harm us. Sometimes we get all these instinctive, protective thoughts that may, that may have nothing to do with reality. So you see how uh, the rays are um, radiating from the mind here. Again, calmness, the eyes are closed. A new beginning, a strong new beginning can happen should you remain calm and use that energy with the Ace of Wands instead of putting it on fear, which could like increase the situation, like in terms of weakness and maybe attracting things that you don't like and so on. And using that focus instead of putting it there, but to put it on solution, uh, putting it where it matters the most. And that is towards a solution, the solutions. What are you supposed to do? Put your focus right there. Because that will dramatically transform the situation for you. And it will give you that intense power to calmly ward all of these challenges off of you. Or these things that you feel could harm you off of you. So in order to be able to do all of that, first your guides are saying, you need to take some time off to re-energize. You know, um, if you are in an office right now watching this, take a bathroom break, a toilet break, and you know, calm down, like maybe wash your face, take a breather. It's important to take care of you first before you take care of anything else. If you are like um, mad at someone, upset about something, if you feel like you're overwhelmed with these challenges, here, this is like a hotel lobby, like go somewhere else that is calmer, take a breather, rest, and you will find, you will see things in a different perspective when you're calmer. You will find that solutions are able to come to you quickly. Even the energy of the situation is going to change at a great pace. And things may, just like the dominoes in that case, all go down to your favor. And when you calm down, you're going to feel much more powerful uh, to take stronger actions that you couldn't have taken otherwise had you been um, boggled down by emotions. I mean, look at the synchronicity here, even. Conserve, re-energize. Like, conserve your energy. Take some time off to re-energize, to find your power. And from that place start pushing things away and you will see that you will win over this you're going to feel powerful and there is a new beginning in this situation a powerful one that can happen but um your guides are saying with the nine of pentacles take it slow yeah we explained this part take it slow take it one step at a time and you will be winning over this difficulty that you're currently going through so should we take a quick three cards to like give you a closer idea on how the situation is going to end, uh, uh, given that you have taken this advice and re-energized and you're taking control of your emotions, not letting it drive you, uh, how, and taking it step by step, how is this situation in your life going to go down, please, for pile number two? One two and three i really feel this fourth one i said three but i feel this one as well Let, let's keep it to the side so you have nine of cups wow <laughs> this is what you wish with regards to this situation is going to come true what you wish is going to come true should you do it that way. Should you follow this guidance? So how is it going to come down? You've got the Ten of Swords. And Ten of Swords is an end of a painful cycle, but let's see how it's going to go down. 
and you have the Fool card. Okay, so these are our three cards, and then there's one more right there. That is the Devil card. So how is it going to go down? Hmm. Oh, this is so easy. This is saying that what you're wishing for is going to come true. Since I don't know what your situation is, there's another element of ending the painful things that is causing the situation. So what you're praying for is going to come true. Uh, it seems like if, like if this is a person harming you, then you can see that it's the end of this person harming you. Um, if this is a situation truly affecting you, you can see it, it's going to be nipped in the bud. It's going to be the end of whatever is causing the pain. And the full card shows me that you're free now to take it in the direction that you want. And the devil card here is reminding you that everything is happening is an illusion. Don't fall into the trap of this illusion and allow yourself to tap into stronger energy that will allow you and help you to achieve the things that you want out of the situation because it will be achieved through tranquility and strength. Um, and it will end this difficulty and you will be liberated. So don't worry about it. Remember the, the last message here, it wasn't part of what's going to happen. This is just a message letting you know from your guides that it's all an illusion. Don't fall entrapped. Don't be entrapped um, by it. And my dear pile number two, that is your reading of exactly what I'm seeing um, as your message or messages from your spirit guides on what is currently happening in your life. I'm wishing you the best of luck in the situation. You got this, pile number two. You got this. Everything is happening. It is really an illusion. It's not going to go down the way you think. And in fact, as you're hoping, it's going to go down the way you're hoping. The things that are causing you pain are going to end. And I see you being free. My dear pile number two, this was your reading. Uh, and... I'm not sure if I told you, but if you've enjoyed your reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I think I did. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful Dalmatian Jasper. Some of you have chosen this pile using the star card. Oh, looks like this is your card. And if you've chosen your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Scorpio, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Gemini. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, as I always remind you guys, it is a general reading. Some specific details may resonate with you. And at other times... Uh, it's just meant for someone else, and that's just the nature of a general reading. Okay, so let's put your crystals to the side. And today, as you know, we're taking a look at your spirit guide's messages on what is currently happening in your life. This was the significator card in all of the piles, so let's um, continue suit. So you have Stronger. May you find your roots wherever you walk. I mean, follow suit. Okay, so may you find your roots wherever you walk. You have the spirit aspect of Sagittarius with freedom. And you, look at that cage and that bird being free. That is Sagittarius. So you have releasing a bird to fly free. A wild bird soars on the air, limited only by its wingspan and the weather. Oh, speaking of the weather, weather, it's very cold here. Do you need to find bigger adventures or a new life philosophy? Are there limitations on your freedom that need to be acknowledged? Interesting question. Okay, so let's keep that here. It's like thinking outside of the box with the cage here. 
This is a harsh weather. The question is, why are you staying there? You are not a tree. Could there be some limitations that, that you have that are limiting your freedom that you want to acknowledge is the question I'm seeing here from your guides. Okay. So you've got individuality. Interesting, my dear pile number three. I really feel here for you that your guides are saying maybe you're like going through something difficult or suffering through something that you just may not have to go through. Are you limiting yourself because everybody's doing it or everybody sees it as the right thing to do? Can you do your own thing with individuality, perhaps? All right, so you have intelligence as one of your keywords. Brilliant IQ test, Einstein, AI top secret, alien life, brainiac, Leonardo, spy, radio signals. Yeah, okay, so we've got intelligence. And... You have stop the press. Okay, I think what I, I, I can see what's going on here. Perhaps with stop the press, are you afraid? If you think about your situation of what everybody's going to say about whatever it is that you could do differently to take yourself out of this situation, perhaps? I really feel that your guides are saying figure it out it can work with you with intelligence just in a, another way thinking outside the box and um, that box or that cage could be uh conforming to the rules of society or the rules of what society expects rules of, like the cage of expectations that's another thing the rage cage of conforming to society because stop with the press and individuality here is definitely talking about it doesn't matter what everyone says. What's more important is that you become free to explore the things that your heart wants. Okay, very interesting. Let's take a look at your tarot cards to really get the full picture of what's going on or perhaps what it is that your guides want to show you. Maybe I'm not supposed to know more about this. We'll find out. Yeah, these are the cards I'm feeling. Let's put it to the side and let's explore. So you have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. Look at that. Facing each other. The High Priestess. The Devil card. Again, facing each other. Temperance. The Five of Wands. Mm. I feel, okay, we'll get to it. You have the Eight of Wands, right? The Fool card. The Empress. I don't know if YouTube will let that one pass. The Empress. The Three of Cups. Interesting, really interesting that you got the Three of Cups. The Five of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the King of Wands. So it's pretty clear that your guides are talking about not being afraid to face others. When it comes to being who you want to be, 
don't conform but go out there and be yourself you will find yourself to be always at at an advantage because knight of pentacles is slow knight of wands is fast and powerful so i really feel like your guides are saying don't be afraid of how they look on the outside uh, or what they have or what they can do do note that your energy is way stronger and faster you can even see it here with the high priestess and the devil the devil is an illusion they look like they are scarier they look like they have more power but really you are in the situation that has more power the high priestess has more power with her open-mindedness her broad-mindedness the devil is an illusion they're stuck where they are with their limiting beliefs so don't stay in the land with the five of wands where um in in the land as in as in the mind don't stay in the place how can i say it better to express it better don't stay where you are whatever that is to do whatever you feel is limiting your freedom because limiting your freedom this way is going to keep you in that same energy that everyone's in fighting see the five of wands you're all fighting over this flower it's going to end that all of them are going to beat each other perhaps nobody's going to have the energy to get that flower so it's like perpetual arguments perpetual um struggles and competition and fighting and you can even see here the in the eight of wands it's brilliant how it's depicted this figure is trying to cut the weed and it keeps growing back and you can see that she's done it a thousand, many times because they're all straight up top you can see that she's cut it and it keeps growing and she keeps cutting it and it keeps growing and so this is where i get the idea of something being perpetual in this reading it's like if you do decide to stay in place or to do the same thing to conform um you will there is a continuous struggle here that will never stop the struggle of your freedom being limited fighting over things that are abundant it's like they're competing with each other with the five of wands it's all a competition and not really about the resource or 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 the end goal and it's perpetual so the message from your guide guides are the wise message is to find balance is to do your own thing with the temperance is to with intelligence see what you can put together to come up with something completely different you know it's like a chemical reaction putting one substance on another substance and getting a totally different substance so what can you formulate what can you do differently that can take you out of the situation it requires an open mind and it requires yeah a, a creativity imagination intelligence that only comes when you think differently when you think outside the box you can see it even here with the knight of wands it's really about using the different resources that you have you can see the knight of wands here it's like different insects at the same time you know the cricket and is like riding a fleece holding a wand so what else are the purple wings i think these are of um um no it's not a moth okay anyways i really see it's about formulating or putting together the different resources that you have or the different things that you have at hand to do something in a different way to free yourself and you don't have to conform you can face society being you you don't have to there's an x with the high priestess you don't have to conform to their ideas you don't have to move in their same direction 
And you don't have to slow yourself when you're meant to go fast. You can take yourself out of this perpetual competitiveness or per perpetual fight by taking the time to first take yourself out of this energy, perhaps mentally, to focus on formulating something for yourself. Because that will take you with the Three of Cups here into finding your own community. Um, you will really be enjoying your time with a, a group of people later on that accept each other for their differences. And from that place, you might even discover how silly these people were, were. Also how manipulative they were. Because even though this is the Two of Cups, do you see? They're trying to um, hook someone. They're trying to entrap them. You can see from their body language. They're trying to like um, control over the other person. They're trying to like uh, uh, cheat them. So yeah, from that new place, you will look back and think, gosh, I was trying to conform to a society that may, that now I realize weren't really thinking in the best way. Because, you know, the Five of Swords is a card of bullying and you can really see it here. It's like, na 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 <laughs> So I think from that place, you're going to think, you're going to look back and think, my God, I was in a toxic place. You can see the fool treading through toxic water. My God, I was in a, I was in a toxic place. Um, their bullying attitude, the fives here. My God, even the love they were giving were was entrap is entrapping. Something is not really uh, good. No, good's not the right way. The best way to say it: something is not mature about this society that you are conforming to. And it's not about not loving them with the Two of Cups. It's about finding harmony with them. And perhaps by breaking free from them first, finding yourself, finding your community, finding your strength with the King of Wands, from that place, perhaps you can... Um, have a good, better connection with them that is not based on control. And so I believe your guides are saying, you need to find yourself first. You need to find your power, your sense of control over yourself and your life before you really think about this community for now. Because I feel like with this picture, I'm getting this idea that maybe you're dealing with people who are shameless. Yeah, they're not ashamed of anything. You can even see the empress on the toilet. <laughs> so it's kind of like looking all good from the outside, but not dealing with their... Uh, own crap if i'm if that's okay to say you know that's the impression i'm getting and so they have a lot to work on why confirm conform in that case and your roots are not in one place see it says may you find your roots wherever you walk so your guides are saying you're not stuck there go somewhere else make a new community uh, and build your roots there. How can you do that? When you start thinking in that direction, opening your mind to new possibilities, you will find new opportunities. But right now, in your heart, perhaps you are afraid with the stop the press of what they could be saying. So to help you do that, Let's pull out some cards to get specific guidance. Because now that we've established the main idea, 
Perhaps you want to know how to go about this in an organized way. What are you guided to do first and then second and then third? So for pile number three, can we kindly get more guidance? Also, I feel this one. On what they should do? take them to free themselves from the situation exactly so you have the nine of wands mm. wow the judgment card the ace of wands The Queen of Wands. Wow. Ten of Cups. The Knight of Cups. The Ten of Wands. And the Three of Wands. Lovely. The Three of Wands gave all the perspectives needed. All right, look, it's not going to be something that can be solved overnight. That I can tell you. But it is something that will bring you a lot of happiness later on. And the fact that you're moving in that direction will give you with the Ace of Wands life force and the power needed to take on that journey. So it could feel at the very beginning as overwhelming with the nine of wands. You could be already feeling tired. You could be intimidated by the long journey that you have to go. But really, once you decide to take action regardless towards a new direction, even though you're tired, you will find an awakening within, within you and power within you that will help you nurture that new beginning just like a mother. So what I see here, the moment, and, and I said the power to persevere even though you're tired because this is the nine of wands, the wounded warrior that keeps on fighting. So you're being, your message is, it's about taking initial steps and the moment when you're tired. That's the only moment in which you will feel is the hardest. Everything after that is not going to feel that way. In fact, with the judgment card, you're going to feel awakened. You're going to feel revived because you would have started something strong that maybe you didn't have the power to do before. You'll find yourself all of a sudden in a new situation or moving towards a new situation, which will make you super excited and, and alert and, and strong with the Queen of Wands. Once you get into that energy, you'll find that you will have the power to do whatever it takes, carry all the responsibilities needed to do it. And you can see with the Knight of Cups, go all the way down to get what you want. You can see that this Knight of Cups has been through a lot. They went diving, They've their armor has, pati has patina, they have like um, lost part of their armor. You can see they've been in there to get what they love with the Knight of Cups. So... Your reading here is saying you will be reaching your destination. You will be happy with a new group of people with the Ten of Cups. This is like the happy family. The ten is the card of a happy family, the Ten of Cups. You will find a beautiful community that you will love. But to do that, you the, the hardest part about this is to just begin. Once you do everything, you will have the power to do everything, to go get what you want. You will find that you have the muscles to carry it the nurture and the love look it's like a mother again with the umbilical cord um, extended towards the plants that she is growing so here this is talking about how you will have the power to nurture this direction that you are going to go towards and right away you're going to feel that awakening you're going to feel that power the toughest part about this whole situation is to just begin. Begin with a thought, begin with a new direction, 
begin with asking questions, begin with starting something. So be patient. It's going to go fast in, because you will have the power to make it go fast. And fast is you're going to feel that it went fast, whether it takes a couple of days, a week, months or years. I don't know. But I, I don't think it's that far for you. I feel like um, you're not going to feel the time. It's just going to pass by very quickly because you will have the power at every way to go there, get what you want. You're going to be so focused. Once you begin this journey, you're going to nurture it. You're going to have the power to take every step and you will be moving towards your happiness with the Ten of Cups and towards a community, a new community that you love, that is more loving and more accepting and more like you, uh, my dear pile number three. So your guides are saying, find your freedom, dear one, find your freedom. And my dear pile number three, this was your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. All the best of luck with this situation. It's a strong move, but it's leading to, to so much happiness. And my dear pile number three, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye!